At the United Nations, after days of talks, a vote on a resolution. Uh, the Security Council, uh, it went down to the wire, you might say, as Arab ministers said, this is it. It's got to happen Thursday night, New York time. Inside the Security Council chamber then, they all filed in, and uh, it was time for their hands to be put in the air. The council president for this month, the French, represented by Foreign Minister Bernard Kushner, he and uh, 13 other countries' uh, ambassadors did vote yes, but it was the United States. Uh, Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, which surprised some, she put her hand in her air and likely her final appearance inside the Security Council and abstained. You'll see that in a few seconds here. That meant, though, that the resolution was approved. The U.S. does have veto power. There's uh, Condoleezza Rice's hand in the air. Her last appearance here, not the way maybe she wants to be remembered. She says that more focus and should have been paid to the Mubarak Sarkozy peace plan, which may bear fruit in that it may not have been the best time for a Security Council resolution. Nevertheless, she says the U.S. didn't want to stand in the way. The United States thought it important to see the outcomes of the Egyptian mediation efforts in order to see what this resolution might have been supporting. And that is why we chose to abstain tonight. But after a great deal of consideration, we decided that this resolution, the text of which we support, the goals of which we support, and the objectives that we fully support, should indeed be, go be allowed to go forward. Well, what did they approve? The Security Council resolution calls for an immediate and durable ceasefire. The wording of a ceasefire in this resolution was what everybody was hung up on. It were the main points. Flurry of diplomacy in the hallways and corridors of the United Nations over the last few days and weeks. Nobody was saying anything as they walked by reporters as they filed into the conference room. Western European diplomats and Condoleezza Rice facing off with Arab group ambassadors, sometimes collegial, sometimes cooperative spirit, but the Arabs were holding firm. They wanted a vote and they wanted a resolution. The U.S. originally proposed a weaker, simple statement. That was then shot down and they started working together on the resolution. The Security Council resolution, though, offers no guarantees or timetables. There's no mention of Hamas. There's no mention of rocket attacks. There's an idea about U.N. member countries working to stop smuggling. Uh, Israel has not necessarily agreed to this resolution, and nobody here has heard from Hamas formally, though Palestinian and Arab representatives say contacts have been made. In the region, the United Nations had to suspend aid in Gaza after truck drivers were killed by Israeli attacks. Some of those U.N. workers, Palestinians, had been given guarantees and assurances by the Israelis when they went by checkpoints, only soon to meet death. There were also several injuries. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon sharply condemned what's happened. We have seen these incidents before when Middle East wars have erupted. Israel has a way, it seems, of attacking United Nations vehicles and personnel. Israel said it accepted what happened but was still looking into it. The United Nations still wants an investigation. The aid is badly needed as Gaza residents are going through what John Ging, the UN Relief Works coordinator there, called a dreadful existence. He pleaded for a ceasefire by both sides. It's not known, Hugh, at this time whether this Security Council ceasefire call will be accepted.